Choosing myself was definitely the right choice. Full house. Woo. What's on the news? I wouldn't know. My TV's broken. This comment was made oh, by mind. Valery Potihonchenkov, who acted as a kind of ambassador on behalf of us Earthlings. Meanwhile, we'll continue the live broadcast. We're continuing the live broadcast from the village of Kuzilovka, where first contact took place. An interstellar contact, you might say. You can see what a long line there is. People are waiting. Why are you standing in this line, young man? Uh, just out of habit, you know. Everyone's lined up, so why wouldn't I get in line too? <laughs> I see. Um, excuse me, sir. What do you expect from the encounter with the aliens? I was sent here by the watch factory. Our production line has completely collapsed. The screws for the watch mechanisms haven't been delivered for two months now. You know, the really tiny ones. <laughs> Our old supplier is stalling. They've run out of steel anyway. I want to ask for a batch of screws, I guess. I was so selfish and I, I, I was selfish. I'm broke as hell. They paid me with this Chinese jacket instead of my paycheck. So I figured maybe somebody wants it. It's a little too hot for it right now. So I'd be willing to sell it for 40 bucks. Um, ah, oh, <laughs> interesting. We even have a man in uniform here. What brings you here, sir? Well, like that gentleman, I'm here on official business. Someone has hijacked two tanks from a unit, and we're uh, trying to figure it out. You know, maybe they saw something from up there. Who knows? So, yeah, yeah use them I came as here for some um, security cameras. aerial recon. Ah, oh, understood. And what are you waiting for, miss? Oh, not much. Now that prices have skyrocketed and my son is coming back from the army, I wanted to get him a Japanese tape deck. Oh, that's These lovely. are the kinds of requests our people I see someone getting dragged around out there. Still visitors with. Thanks, Sergei. Meanwhile, a letter from a certain Baba Vanga just came in from Bulgaria. Huh. The Bulgarian retiree expresses frustration at the fact the line in front of her house has moved to Kuzlyovka. The soothsayer accuses the people of Kuzlyovka of fraud and claims that the flying saucer is a fake. Mm hmm definitely, definitely a fake right there. Uh, everyone's here. Good morning. Oh, that's who you're dragging. Uh, Before okay. you ask, yes. The expert is here. Is that the expert? Because I think you killed him. For a moment I thought the resurrection of the dead was going to be our next gimmick. What's up with him? He just got really excited as soon as he saw it on the way here. I reckon he's been looking so for this thing his out? whole life. He'll be fine. Slap him or something? Slap him. Please. Please oh. don't. What a bummer. I was looking forward to that. Oh, I never dared to dream I'd see something like this up close. Okay. Tell me everything you know about it. Nothing. It grants wishes. Translator. I mean, they're, they're already communicating with you directly? Oh, yeah, oh, definitely. That's splendid, mm -hmm. splendid. I wonder why they won't reveal themselves already. What do they even look like? Who knows? We have no idea. They don't communicate with us directly. Some kind of module has attached itself to Valeri's TV and now it functions as a, well, as a... Communication box. Like a receptionist at a factory. Well, oh yeah, definitely. I'm talking about the TV. <laughs> so I'm a receptionist. I guess Valeri is kind of like the factory manager. That's a, that's a better way of saying it. Basically, factory yeah. Manager. Well, that's fine. Can you give me some examples of their activities? I was completely bald, but now I've got more hair than John Travolta. It's all thanks to the flying saucer. <laughs> so it's the a kind of wish loss. fulfillment device, I think. It seems like they want to find out who they're dealing with through our dreams and desires. Definitely. 
It's likely that even as they crashed, their technology they allows them to maintain their defenses inside nice. the saucer with little to no effort. Uh, while they repair everything, or as they wait to be rescued by their own kind. But since they're, so they're here, leave? So sad. I guess they might as well find out what they're dealing with. Outer space is kind of like the outskirts of Leningrad late at night, you know? Like, if you make yourself known to the wrong person, you're done for. How can you <laughs> prove to them that they won't be done for if they stay here with us? Hmm. Uh, but are they, you they really sure that they wouldn't be done for? Well, choose who you let inside carefully. That's all you can do. Uh, let's see here. Uh, uh, philosophers, writers, poets should definitely come here. Oh, and scientists, of course. <laughs> scientists are the last. Now there can be no doubt that ufology is a legitimate science. So from today onwards, well, I am most certainly a scientist now. Yes. <laughs> And you want to go inside, I assume. <laughs> oh, absolutely. And we shouldn't waste any time either, since you've already attracted public attention. Yeah, definitely. We'll show you in there. Don't worry. My intentions are crystal clear. I mean, I've dedicated my entire life to this. I'm really the only person you can trust. I want them to kill him. Can I make them kill you? There's only three. Your fall, just metaphysics, insane. <laughs> you have fun with your insane dude. God help me. Will someone ask them about that? Did they fix him? Did if they give him this is them? really what I think it is, the thing that I've always dreamed about. Alien pizza. My goodness. What the fuck is it? What did she just poke? Oh, that's fine. Can you give me some examples of their activities? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, we gave him time travel, didn't we? Dangerous. Put it on the table and don't touch it. Nobody should know about this. You understand? Nobody. <laughs> I mean, this is several times more dangerous than the saucer itself. Travel. In fact, I had better take this back to my uh, to our research institute. Are you oh, talking no. about some kind of garage or a basement? No, you're not taking it anywhere. Too dangerous. Let me put a couple of bullets into it just in case. <laughs> Bullets into the time machine. Stop! What if a black hole opens? I mean, we need... We need to put it back inside. Humanity just... It's not ready yet. Okay, I understand this now. Ask them to open it. Come on! You can only go in once. He is this thing to me. Hmm... Do whatever you want, destroy it. Nah, we need a way to unfuck whatever I end up doing. I have a time right, machine so, now. Um, I'm going to have to take a few pictures, and then I'm going to rush them over to a particular uh, editorial office that, that I work mm -hmm. really well with um, right away. Mm-hmm. Okay, guys. There. Now they won't be able to cover it up no matter how hard they try. All right, everybody, mm -hmm. totally stay can't here. Wait, I'm coming with you. I need to give you their navigation tool. I keep it at home, but I'd like to find a safer spot for it. Maybe it can tell you where the aliens came from. Mm -hmm. hmm. I'll try to find out. But first, hopefully I can manage to break through this crowd. Oh yeah, as for the crowd, I think we can slowly start to let people in. It seems like it's not just the locals now. Dude, we're, someone's gonna like ask for a nuke or something and they're just gonna walk out and boom, end of the world. But don't go starting those people screws we'll and ten minutes. tanks. Oh, 
Okay, let's get started. Half I'd like to think this nerd is you. Comrades, we kindly ask you to come in an organized fashion and stay in line. You, you were here first, yes? Come on in. This is you, Pat. Hello. Except not bald. Right? Thorohav. Hello. Amazing. Just unbelievable. So this thing grants wishes, huh? <laughs> okay, Path, I know you're a nerd. To start with, state your wish. We got something like a council here. We don't just let everyone in. Yes, just a little interview first. What if your wish is to spit acid, for example? It's nothing personal, but we have to be careful. There are certain people we prefer not to let in there. My last name's Dorokhov, and I'll be completely honest with you. I've always known that thieves and bandits should be held accountable, comrades. Mm. It's a priori, so to speak. A biblical truth. That's the way I was raised. We're being uh -huh. demonized sure. all over the place nowadays. But I'll tell you this. Is there a single point in the history of Russia when we were left in peace? <laughs> it's our own fault. It was an external enemy who brought about our demise, but our own neglect. The people voted that year to preserve the Union, but they were afraid to come out and defend it. It's their own fault. Yep, yep. definitely. I spent my whole childhood as a young pioneer. You remember that. <clears throat> and if you take a look at some Western countries like East Germany or Hungary, we betrayed them, and they betrayed us too. But this is a very complicated question yet to be figured out. That's exactly what I'm getting at. This is the main point. Neglect, excesses on the lower levels of the government. That's trivial. What really matters is that there's no more state ideology anymore. That's what we really need. We're done with the old one, but no one's invented a new one yet. We need to lift the people up somehow. What have we been offered? The opportunity to get rich? That can't be an ideology. I mean, it could be. I don't see the problem. Look out the window. What do you see? Rampant banditry, bribery, pure lawlessness. Think about it. But if we just made a little effort... As for achievements, we're doing everything we can. That's the second point. But we're unable to keep it up. Yes, I agree wholeheartedly. But where does this formula lead to? There. There lies the key to the issue. A significant number of people pursue their own interests. And it seems it's all in accordance with the law. Ask our dear friends from the United States. They keep making these ridiculous movies. And our boys, simple Russian guys, go to the movie theater. They just line up to watch the next Die Hard, to watch them mow down Soviet people in those films. <laughs> That's the problem. Take America, for instance. Someone has to put an end to it right now. Uh... Back in my day, did we watch those kind of movies? Nope. And the disorder? Well, it didn't come in a single day. You might not uh -huh. like my answers. So he wants I know to wish I'm raising for some America complicated up, issues here. here. But the world is really complicated, and we need to face the truth, because not everything is straightforward. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. Just think about it. I didn't understand a damn thing you said. What exactly that you want? Ah, <laughs> oh, get lost. You're trying to fool here. Get lost. Uh, get lost. What? What are you even talking about? Have you ever fought in a war? Well, judging from your age, I'd say you probably have. Well... <laughs> we need to give a stern warning to the enemies of the motherland. This happens all the time. And these... These people have already drawn the dagger. Well, you'll... You'll find out. We do not Watch need to out. give a warning. You might just snap your heads clean off. Just you wait and see. Stop choosing violence. Finally, a no bullshit guy came knocking at our door. Maybe even an ex-KGB man. And you treat him like this. <laughs> what kind of no bullshit guy is he exactly? He's some kind of despot in the making. People like that should get kicked out as soon as they open their mouths. Come on, Stepan, let the next one in. I agree with this guy. Half speaking true facts. Fuck the dude who wants to blow up There's America. There's a military man further down the line. Afghanistan, apparently. Maybe we should be a little more cautious with the, uh, servicemen from now on. 
<laughs> what are you talking about? He's missing a leg. I think he just wants it back. Mm-hmm. Just the leg, yes. nothing else. Come in, please. Hey, dude, wow. you just want your leg? Would you look at that? Hello, comrades. My name is Sergei. Afghan? Yep, I did my duty. But when I came back, the country I'd grown up in was gone. <laughs> Just like my leg. Do you want your health back? What are your intentions here? I've been working on something. Even drew up a blueprint for it. I've invented a fundamentally new kind of wheelchair. I imagine it could be of use to you as well. Mm. Anywho, I'd like to ask them to make my device for all the disabled folks out there so they can go to the movies, take a walk in the park, go to the store, you name it. I don't trust this fancy wheelchair. I mean, we don't have any ramps, right? Guys like me don't have a lot of options in my town. And whatever we used to have has already been hauled away for scrap. You should really put a ramp on your porch, by the way. I overheard what you said about servicemen. I don't really appreciate that. Have you served in the army yourself? Um, no, but... Hey, you got me all wrong. You see, the guy who came in before you, well... He was quite a character, to put it mildly. I'm sorry, it was a poor choice of words. <laughs> Keep in mind that no badly. one else has ever been exploited as brazenly as us. So I guess I was expecting a better reception. I came here with a pretty modest request, after all. He just wants a fancy wheelchair. You think your flying chair. saucer can help me? Yes. But I'm curious why you just don't ask for your leg back. That is a good point. It's a little strange to hear a question like that from a man of your generation. There are thousands of guys like me out there, and only a handful of them will actually manage to make their way here. I'd like to do something to help them, too. Mm. Let's go. Devastation. <laughs> Disabled blueprint wheelchair. Woo, we did it! Should On there, I go buddy. inside, or should I shove the blueprint chair. in there? Uh, probably the bird print, possibly. Well, I'll come in too. Maybe they'll need some advice. Uh, I don't like that. <laughs> that concerns me. What is your realtor gonna have? A nuke on it when you come out? It's all about the nukes. They're gonna nuke everybody. I can feel it. Aliens, don't let them murder me. They've messed everything up. Everything. Oh. Pretty good, right? They got my blueprint all wrong. That's sad. And then what you wish for it works fine. It's great for going upstairs. What else do you need? What about shock absorption? What about stability? It wouldn't be too hard to fall out of this flying turd. Pardon my French. <laughs> so ungrateful. Screw it. I'll just offer my blueprint to some factory. Do you want me to leave this thing here? Maybe it'll come in handy around the house. I mean, that's a pretty cool wheelchair. I want the wheelchair. A flying wheelchair, just like Marty McFlurry's hoverboard, or whatever his name is. <laughs> hey, look Will you here. abduct me, Apollo? Mrs. Apollo? Just say pretty please. Oh, look, it's Miss Apollo. Mm. <laughs> Mrs. Apollo, Mrs. Apollo. Mrs. Apollo. Mrs. Apollo. You're getting real excited here. How's it going, Mrs. Popolo? Popolo. It's Apollo. You've been <laughs> hanging around here for six years and you still haven't learned my name yet. I don't stink, Apollo. Calm down. Uh, uh, geez, sorry about that. So, how's all this going? We're just fooling around, to be honest. <laughs> yep. I see. Well, I'm not here to ask about goats, and my joints are just fine. I'll outlive you all. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Folks who've been Most through what I've been through, do. either die right away or live a long life. 
Mrs. Apollo, <laughs> there's no need to tell the aliens about the gulag. Yeah, definitely. What? Are you scared they'll get the wrong idea about your beloved commies? I'm sick and tired of everything. I want them to take me with them. There's nothing more for me here. <laughs> but, Mrs. Apollo, everything's just the way you wanted it. We've got democracy, all that stuff. Why would you want to leave now? Because it's a shithole. Uh, it sucks I have Mrs. here. Apollo vibes. This That's country is going to hell in a handbasket, and you know it. You really thought this through? Go ahead. Let's go. Miser. Way. Uh oh. Uh oh. We might uh, destroy this old woman. Watch yourselves. I'll be, back. be me. My, you know, never mind. Maybe I'll be a miserable old woman and I'll still be streaming just to fucking yell at you, Apollo. You'd like that though, wouldn't you? I wonder what's gonna happen to Miss Apollo here. Damn it. She got a cigarette. Oh, what'll let you in, huh? What did they say? Did you see anything? Um, that uh, sucked. Jeez, aliens what a tough old broad. When she got back from the camp, a couple in the village named their newborn daughter Piatilietka. <laughs> you know, like a five-year plan. You should have heard her. She loved nothing more than to scream the five-year plan just shit the bed at the top of her lungs. <laughs> Next, please. No shoving, comrades. Oh. Wow. Hello. Nice to know that even aliens wouldn't want me, though. Could someone finally ask them that very question? Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Are you here to deal with your competitors? That's not funny. What? Just because he's one religion doesn't mean he's going to wipe out all the other religions. It's fine. I'm used to jokes. That's good. Let's see if he gets going to tell you everything just like that. I Maybe. wanted to ask for a couple of cartons of Dunhills. We went to Italy in 83 on a certain matter. And I like them a lot. But back then, you couldn't get cigarettes like that here. These days, we kind of have it all. But I just couldn't afford them. Uh, look, cigarette. maybe you'd rather ask them about... God. Ah, that's what I thought. <laughs> and I could tell you right away, that's what you thought. But that's not actually why I'm here. Doesn't looking for confirmation from them contradict the very idea of faith? Yeah, there you go. Yes, it does. So I have no intention of seeking confirmation from them. Damn. I don't well, need any know. confirmation from anyone. I need help with a rather mundane issue. Yeah, cigarettes. <laughs> Please, look away. Uh. Here. Oh my god. These are the brands of a wasted past. I want it to erase them. Hey, you have a little alien tattoo. Me. Or are you just going to keep laughing at me? Say, that's quite a service record you got there. You should at least let some prison historians take pictures of them. I've never seen labor camp tats like those before. Oh. There was this old lady, though. She was here before you. But I've never seen her naked. Thank God. I'm glad you managed to change careers. Well, let's give it a try. <laughs> no objections. Do you want to erase all your tattoos? Let's do it. Uh, this is a conversation right here. Uh, 
Faith, tattoos, prison. Maybe prison tattoos. Prison tattoos. Hello there. Hello, Kara. Hello there. Go in there, but we're gonna purge your prison tattoos. It would have been funny if it just gives him more tattoos. For like religious looking tattoos. It's like, oh, we thought you wanted new tattoos. Man, he's As I'm insane. sure you can understand, I'd appreciate it if what happened here could stay here. All the best. And God. You're not going to put your clothes back on before the. Uh, no one had okay. any questions about God after all. By the way. <laughs> I was up all night, so I uh, turned on the TV and Traveler's Club was on. It was an episode about Sicily. Apparently, their coffee shops have yeah, pants? tip jars Why would you on put every pants table. On? Definitely not Why don't we pretty. do the same thing here? It'll all be on a voluntary basis, only for those who can afford it. That Baba Vanga lady from Bulgaria takes a lump of sugar for her services, too. What's the harm? As long as it's voluntary, of course. That Baba Vanga of yours doesn't seem to fit too well with the whole there's nothing deal. <laughs> oh, God. Long day of fulfilling people's well, wishes. I, mean, I look great for a 68 year old. I just need to get used to it. Oh, shit. Oh, you'll <laughs> get used to it. Take care, Agrippina. <laughs> Was that one a good idea? Whew, what a tough day. What, nobody tossed anything into the jar? Well, never mind. Damn. Well, some people brought presents. And vodka. Ah, yes, vodka. Anyway, there's still a line outside, and it's not getting any shorter. Folks just keep coming and coming. But the presents are great, especially the ones you can eat and drink. <laughs> Free food and booze. I'll, I'll say this much. Take a slice of dark bread, some onion, some salt, a little oil. The smelly, uh, unrefined kind. Drip it on the bread and add a glass of vodka. I'm just gonna puff my cigarette. Give me a moment, boys. Great shit, you know? Oh, I ran out. And you're the happiest guy in the world. No need for any UFOs. No need for all kinds of people barging in, wishing for stuff. Well, cheers. Cheers! Hey, oh. who could that be at this hour? That's not good, I'm drunk now. Take the phone. It's Stepan there, Valeri. Get Stepan for me. Yeah. Le Just... Lieutenant Bjorn, let's listen. Oh, shit, he's shit face too. Get me out of here, Stepan. Klim? Well, that's what I thought. They want to charge me with counterfeiting. I'm in Sietlomaisk. Get me out of here, Stepan. Mm. I don't think you can help that man. He fucked up. I was just starting to relax. Ah, you have to go to Stefan, whoever you might be. He's still one of us. No smart up in prison. Ah, you know, Damn camaraderie. It. We just sat down. Here we go. Now for the crocodile tears and repentance. This might last for a day. Oh yeah, definitely. It's just you and me, Vasil. 